A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put the light on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before people that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father who is in heaven. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hello. Well, May has International Nurses Day in it, and that was last week. And International Nurses Day is held on the anniversary of the birth of Florence Nightingale. Now, when I was a little girl, I loved Ladybird history books, and this was one of my favourites. Florence Nightingale. And as a little girl, I used to enjoy looking at all the pictures in it, reading about this remarkable woman so far ahead of her time, and how she was determined to increase nursing care and improve it, and how she was one of the first people to go abroad and actually start a hospital. And Florence started with really simple things. The most simplest was a message that we've all got used to over the last 18 months. Wash your hands. Florence went abroad. She went to the Crimea to hospitals where men were dying in droves who really should have been able to recover from their injuries. And she discovered that surgeons were going from bed to bed to bed to bed without washing their hands. And what was killing the men was infection. So Florence started a regime with her nurses of hand washing and the death rates fell. So that conventional wisdom of that time actually has fed into all of us over this last 18 months. Now, one of the things that Florence was indeed known for, and indeed in my little book, you have the picture of her, was her lamp. She was called the Lady of the Lamp because she was known for night times, instead of just leaving her patients all night and hoping they may still be alive in the morning, she would do nighttime rounds with her lamp, looking at the men, checking they were okay, doing what needed to be done. And this lamp helped her to see in that dark place. But it was also the lamp when it came along was such a source of comfort to the men as well. They knew that they were cared for. They knew that help was coming. They knew they had hope, help and hope. And how much at the moment we need help and hope as well. We're coming hopefully towards the end of lockdown. And for many people, we say we can see a light at the end of the tunnel. With the vaccine, with the effects of lockdown, the virus rates are dropping at the moment from COVID and we are gradually being able to see that light at the end of the tunnel and it comforts us as we can see the times when we can meet up with our families again. As I make this message at the moment, we can meet outside. By the time Third Thursday happens and this actually airs, we should be able to meet inside as well and we may even have been able to hug our loved ones carefully, gently, sensibly. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. And Jesus talks about this light. He says, let our light shine before people. And I think there's something in that of, of hope like Florence had. There is the hope that it gives to shine that light, to encourage one another that we have this light that we face our hopes on, even in the darkest times, which we've certainly gone through in the past few months, haven't we, the past year or so. And we have this hope. God has not forsaken us. He has not forgotten us. There is that light. Jesus is the light of the world. And we are called to reflect that light to one another, to tell one another that good news. And like Florence Nightingale, 
to hold up that lamp to help us see clearly in those dark times and also to help others to have hope, to have comfort when they see that lamp. God bless you. Nightingale Prayer Today our world needs healing and to be rekindled with love. Once Florence Nightingale lit her beacon of lamplight to comfort the wounded. Her light has blazed a path of service across a century to us, through her example and through the countless nurses and healers who have followed in her footsteps. Today we celebrate the flame of Florence Nightingale's legacy. Let that same light be rekindled to burn brightly in our hearts. Let us take up our own lanterns of caring, each in our own ways, to more brightly walk our own paths of service to the world, to more clearly share our own noble purpose with each other. May human caring become the lantern for the 21st century. May we better learn to care for ourselves, for each other and for all creation. Through our caring, may we be the keepers of that flame, that our spirits may burn brightly to kindle the hearts of our children and great-grandchildren, as they too follow in these footsteps. Amen. <laughs>